Welcome to this episode of Cooking with Coaches. I'm Anna, one of the health coaches at Verda. And I'm Laura, also a health coach here at Verda. As coaches, we understand that one of the biggest challenges for patients new and experienced alike is knowing what to eat. So we're gonna take a little bit of the workout for you and show you how to make a really tasty Thai chicken curry. This is a fast and easy recipe, so you can plan ahead and meal prep on the weekends, or you can quickly throw it together on one of those busy nights. Perfect for back to school timing. So as Anna mentioned, today we're gonna to be making a simple Thai chicken curry. It's really easy to customize to your individual taste and based on whatever ingredients you have on hand. Let's first take a look at the ingredients that we're going to need today. Sounds good. We're going to be using green beans as the non-starchy vegetable, a rotisserie chicken, um, full fat coconut milk. We've got some curry paste. Today we're using red, but you could also use yellow or green, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some fresh basil, but you could also use uh, dried basil if you're in a pinch. Uh, we've got some salt and pepper, and that's it. We've also got some cauliflower rice for serving, as well as some lime for garnish. Oh. And in place of a rotisserie chicken, if you don't have one or you have some leftover chicken, you could do pulled chicken from a different recipe that you had on hand or even tofu or shrimp or a combination. Whatever you have really works in this recipe. And if you do use a rotisserie chicken, the first step will be to shred all that good chicken off the bone. You can even save time by doing this step ahead of time. So the first step is going to be to take your pan and heat it over medium high heat. Mm. All right, got the stove on. Perfect. <clears throat> and then next I have the full fat coconut milk here. So I'm gonna add in about half of the mixture, a few tablespoons. And then I'm gonna take maybe one or two tablespoons. We'll go two today, because we like a lot of flavor mm -hmm. of the curry paste. You can always add more spice, but you can't take it away. So if you're sensitive, might wanna start small. Good tip. And then Anna, will you please stir? Sure. Now that it's all nice and mixed together, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of your coconut milk. And then give it a good stir again. All right, and as you can see, it's already starting to simmer a little bit on the sides. Mm -hmm. So once it's fully simmering, what you're gonna do is take the chicken that's already been shredded and mm -hmm. the green beans that we're using today and gently pour them in. In they go. And so what you'll wanna do is kind of stir everything together. Perfect. And let the chicken kind of warm all the way through. And then once it's nice and warm, You'll just wanna do a test and make sure your vegetables start to soften a little bit. It usually only takes a couple minutes or in the case of the green beans since they were pre-cooked, just enough to be heated through to the temp you want. And then once it's all cooked through like this, you can stir in the basil leaves. Yeah. It gives a really nice touch. Perfect. Adds a nice kick of freshness. Yeah. And we're all done. Voila. So. Uh, as you can see, that was super quick and easy to put together. Yeah. And how we like to serve it is over cauliflower rice, which we have right here, and then a fresh squeeze of lime. Perfect. So I will plate your food, Anna. Smells really good. I don't have a lot of spice tolerance, so hopefully it's not too spicy for me. Okay. Let's give it a taste. Don't forget that lime. Let's, Let's dig, dig in. in. Jinx. Mm, that's awesome. Good. Thank you for joining us on Cooking with Coaches. Until next time. <laughs>